Let's begin the latest, or with the latest, on the investigation into that deadly air show disaster out in Nevada. NBC's George Lewis is in Reno. George, good morning. What can you tell us? Uh, good morning, Matt. Uh, investigators are looking at new evidence contained on a bunch of memory cards like this one that they found in the wreckage. But these cards could hold the possible key to solving the cause of the wreckage if data from them can be recovered. New video this morning of the ill-fated P-51 Mustang, a World War II vintage fighter plane. And the moment of the crash. It turns out the plane carried some modern technology. The investigators have found that the accident aircraft was equipped with a video camera facing outward. They have also found camera fragments at the wreckage site. The plane also had a flight data recorder that tracked performance information. That could yield clues about what happened as a piece of the plane's tail section appeared to come off in flight. Sunday night, the NTSB released a photo of the part that detached. NTSB investigators wrapped up their search of the crash site on Sunday. Pieces of the plane will be taken to a secure area for further analysis. Stay where you are. Heads up. If you're down, stay down. This, as more stories of heroics amid the chaos of the crash scene begin to emerge. One of the spectators who died, John Craig, may have been trying to save his son and his son's two friends. They survived. And I think that he probably sheltered his son. And that's the kind of guy he was. One thing that may come out of this, a set of recommendations from the NTSB about improving safety at air shows and preventing further tragedies like this one. And the NTSB says a very preliminary report on the, their findings will be released this coming Friday. Matt? All right, George Lewis out in Nevada for us this morning. George, thank you very much. It's